So I'm on hold with the hospital transport service, but from what they've just said, they're not going to pick me up until half an hour after my appointment is over. She's just trying to find out where the actual vehicle is. Um, so she's put me on hold again, but I doubt it's going to make much difference because it sounds like I've lost the appointment. Honestly, not sure she's coming back. I think she might just leave me on hold. Hello, Mum. Are you still here? Yeah, they've just had me on hold. Well, basically, I've already told them. I've told them this is unacceptable. Fucking right. useless people. I know, I told them this is completely unacceptable. You wait months for an appointment and then they just don't bother turning up. And you rely, and you rely on them and you just don't oh, get... I rang them yesterday and they just... I know, I know. It's just because they're in business and they don't care about... Well, they're going to get a complaint. I know, I told them I'm, they're going to get a complaint. She's like... Right, have you just got everything you need? Have you got a door key? Right, just take that one. Yeah, she's left me on hold for fucking... Um, Speak yeah, and I told her, I mean, if you don't know, so let me see where the van is and just let me on hold it isn't coming back. What am I doing? Hello, it's the 24th of April 2018 today, so we had a bit of a mad rush this morning because I have two hospital appointments that I had to go to and the hospital transport didn't turn up and about 15 minutes before my appointment I called them and asked what was going on and they just didn't really have an answer, they said they'd be about an hour late, so then my mum just happened to come home on her lunch break, which she never normally does. So I asked her if she could take me to the hospital. But then, just as we got the wheelchair in her car, the hospital transport turned up, so we had to take it out again and put it in the hospital van. Okay, we're all clear at the back then. Okay. Ah! Okay. Try and keep it straight. Yeah. It's quite hard. Oh, a little to the uh. right. Ah. Rather right if you can. Which? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, go back up okay. a bit. Perfect. Keep that nice and straight. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you, on the ground. Yay, I did it. <laughs> and we got there about 25 minutes late but luckily my doctor was also running late so I was still able to see him and uh, I got lucky there. That was my neurologist and he said he was interested to hear about what the neuropsychologist had said and that 
he wants to wait for her report and then he'll recommend whatever she says. So he said he's going to try and support me with that, so that was really nice. And then I saw the dietitian and I spoke to her about the fact that I was getting these meal deliveries but there was stuff in there that I couldn't eat and she suggested I call the social worker. So I did that and the social worker has spoken to the company that delivers the meals and asked them to give me something that's gluten and lactose free and I think they're going to have a couple of emails back and forth to try and sort that out. So the social worker asked if I'd be happy with it if they'd give me stuff I could eat and I said yeah because I actually was really enjoying those meals and I was sad when I got stuff that uh, just had too much milk in or had gluten in when they already know about my gluten and lactose intolerance. It just would cause me loads of stomach pain and you know I'd just not be able to eat for a while and I just really don't need that when I'm already underweight. So hopefully that's sorted out now. I'm seeing the social worker on Friday anyway to have a look around some student halls because I need to move out of my mum's place and that might be a good thing to do for the rest of my master's degree until I can then get my own place after I finish uni. Anyway, I've got some chicken in the oven, I'm just going to uh, eat that and then I think I'm going to do some maintenance on my fish tanks. Bye bye for now.